Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another vlog. Obviously, you can tell I'm back home in Minnesota for the holidays, and it is so dang cold here. Like, that's an understatement, and I'm not just being a baby because I'm hardly used to the cold anymore, but we're actually in a winter storm warning, not due to snow or anything, but literally due to the freezing cold temperatures. Like, today's the coldest day that we'll have. It is negative 15 right now, and it says it feels like negative 35. So, Pretty much ever since I got home and landed, I've been like a literal hermit and all I've wanted to do is just like curl up in a ball and be super cozy. So that's pretty much what today is going to be a very like chill, comfy day at home. And then tonight my sisters and I are heading over to my mom's house for like a Christmas dinner and gift exchange, which will be so fun. I'm really looking forward to it. It'll be a nice little girls night and rarely are we ever like all home together so it'll be such a good night and we're all responsible for bringing something to the dinner so i'm making banana bread we'll make that obviously like later and i'll show you all the ingredients and all the stuff like that because since today is very cozy day we'll definitely get some baking done but before we get into the vlog i wanted to show you guys some new pieces that i picked up from guests because i've been wearing this sweatshirt or not sweatshirt t-shirt it literally feels like a sweatshirt because it's such thick good material but i've been wearing this ever since i got it in the mail i got a bunch of stuff shipped home because i knew i was going to be coming home for the holidays and there's no sales tax in minnesota so anytime i do any sort of shopping i always love getting it sent home if i know that i'm like coming home anytime soon but i got this big cozy t-shirt from guess and it's so comfortable i love how oversized it is too so I wear it with like biker shorts, but obviously not in this weather. I'm just wearing some comfy sweatpants right now. I threw on a very random cozy outfit. This is like literally what I slept in. I also got some pieces that my sister already went through because she opened the box and she threw this on and I literally could not get it off of her. I'm like, Layla, you need to get this back to me because I'm doing a little mini haul. But this was part of her Christmas gift, so she opened it up early. But it's this like bright fuchsia with this fur and then on the back it just says guess and it is so her style if any of you guys know my youngest sister Lael or have seen her in my videos she's like the most extra person ever so this could not be more fitting for her and it is so cute so she's like literally has been wearing this ever since she took it out of the um, box when she opened it but so cute on her and then I got this super cute plaid jacket I honestly want it. I got it for my mom, but I might borrow it, of course, while I'm home. It's super pretty with like leather pants, leggings, and I just love the quality of it. I feel like Guess has such great quality pieces, but also very timeless pieces too. Like this is something that you can wear time and time again and just like a great staple for your closet. So I picked this up for my mom and then I had to get myself something. Look at how cute they are, you guys. They're like leather carpenter pants. So they have this like cargo style to them and I just love the white stitching detailing and I've already tried these on and I don't think I've put on a comfier pair of leather pants in my life like they're so incredibly stretchy you guys can even see in the material just like how stretchy they are and then the inside is like a warm um what would you call it not like felt but I'm forgetting the word it's almost like fleece that's the word I'm looking for they're fleece lined um on the inside and then on the back it just has the little guest logo but I think tonight I honestly want to style these with like a chunky white sweater if I have one or my mom or sister might have one I don't know but I want to find a way to style these because they're so freaking comfortable and we're all like dressing up tonight so I thought these would be a very perfect like dressy but also very comfortable pants to wear so that's everything that I picked out I just wanted to quickly show you guys those pieces because I know I'll probably get questions about where my outfits are from and stuff and everything will be linked down below as well as the sizes that I wear and all of that. So definitely be sure to check it out. I had to change into this sweatshirt and sweatpant moment because I just was like, I need to get out of bed this morning. I need to get some stuff done because my mom wants me to make banana bread for our little dinner tonight. Like dessert after dinner, obviously. So I'm going to show them how to make grandma's banana bread, which is yeah. fan favorite. And it doesn't really last in the house because it's so good. I like, know. banana bread's lifespan in our house will last about a Right, because mom has it, like, in the morning, and then she'll just, like, munch on throughout the day. Well, it's just there, so it's just always, like, convenient to steal. Yeah, little... it's one of those things where you, like, leave it near the oven, and so... I've never made this, I don't think. Yeah. I've <laughs> I just it. eat it. I never make it. <laughs> I'm the baker. I'm a little muncher. Okay. All right, let's get to let's it. Let's begin.
we're really just having ourselves a baking type of afternoon. I'm kind of on a kick, but I want to also make this for Christmas Day. So I figured I would just make it tonight. Plus it's like so simple because it takes hardly any time. But you just put together corn chucks, honey nut Cheerios, pretzels, M&Ms, mix that in a bowl, and then pour over some white chocolate or white chocolate almond bark, whatever you feel. And it's so easy to make. It's literally like a Christmas crack. It's so good. this white chocolate is like the perfect consistency i just put it in there for two and a half minutes and then took it out every 30 seconds to give it a good stir. We're gonna pour it over the mixture. I wish you guys could smell this banana bread. It smells so good. I always use a little knife in the middle to make sure that it's all done. Because if any like dough comes with it, then you know it needs to stick in the oven for a little bit longer. But usually an hour keeps it all ready and good to go. And then I got the little Christmas trail mix. I actually ended up needing more of this almond bark than I thought I did. So I pretty much used a whole entire block of this which is a lot but it made such a good portion so i'm very excited it tastes so good too it gets really sticky though to the pan but it's so good no. i look so funny with these on though don't we all i don't think i don't think it's a fashion trend girl it's more practical and functional. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me though. It swallows my head. You got a small head. You really gotta push it back. Like how far back? back? Okay. One second. Sorry. No, it's okay. I am feeling a little Sorry, yeah. paley. I've been looking real pale. So we're gonna go a little bit heavy on the foundation tonight. <laughs> Get ready with us for Christmas. Okay. My sister, Lindsay and I are both way better at makeup than I am. So I try to learn a little I'm tips and tricks in from this. them. Boo. I have really dark circles under my eyes and this lighting is not helping me out. I know, this lighting's a little rough. <laughs> You're really struggling to get that out. I know. Oh, this is like my favorite primer. I don't have any Sometimes I feel like my face is a little bit tanner than my body when I put on my foundation. You're really tan. I know. I'm shook. I feel like black accentuates the tan though. But I don't know if this is going to be my final. I think any I... neutral color does. Sometimes white can either like make you look so pale. I feel like if it's winter and you're wearing white. Like exhibit A. Yeah, it'll like really take you out. But if you're tan, white just accentuates the tan so much, especially white nails. Oh. Why were you just gonna chirp white nails? No, I just think they look like they like get dirty. Oh. Like they get on white. Like acrylics, I could never do white acrylic nails. Oh yeah. Them. I've been adding vitamin E oil to our skincare routine. Oh, what does that do? I don't know, but I think it does something well. I think it does something good. I think it brightens it up maybe. Like your makeup underneath? Oh, yeah. well yeah, I think it just... I always use vitamin C underneath my makeup, like before my primer. Oh, what does that do? It makes your skin look so bright. It's oh. like the Drunk Elephant Vitamin C Serum, and it's so good. I love it. Not a promo. Not a promo. <laughs> Live love. Okay. Yeah, Leo, what is that? I make it by Mario. Um, Did you just get that, or is that? I just bought it. Oh my god. It, yeah, because I noticed your bronzer. I was like... What is that? Is it like... It's like a bronzer thingy. I don't know. A bronzer brush? Like, is it... Wait, is that a brush or an applique? Applicator. The stuff is in it. Whoa. 
And I just found that out yesterday. I like that. I want that. This is what I use. It looks really harsh, but I haven't put on my powder yet. No, that's a really good problem. Look at them falling behind with your guys' pace here. Yeah. I guess speed it up. Did you just flip your phone over because you know what I just saw? What did you see? Did I'm trying to you. That one was his. Oh. And Jonas. <laughs> I thought you flipped over. Goofball. You don't understand the stress that went through my veins when I looked at your location and it said no location found the other night. Mm, I was warm. like, is she where I think no, she is? No, no location. Do you want this real, Lindsay? Yeah, that'd be awesome. No, but I literally was like, I was like, where is this girl? She better not be where I think she is. swear I get my eyebrows done and like immediately I have to pluck these little bad boys. Yeah, same. This is what's happening on this side of the mirror. <laughs> Miss Lyle doing her Holy snatched wing liner. Thanks, Queen. I can I will never be able to do eyeliner and I will say that with a fact. Never say never. I'm starting to feel a little better about this white liner thing. I think I'm warming up to it a little bit. All I want for Christmas is even eyebrows. Oh I forgot to do my eyebrows, that's what I forgot. Well, I'm sorry, I can't really get you that. You just gotta stop plucking them. I don't. There's just through. one that has an arch. My makeup is done. I'm gonna go figure out what I'm gonna wear for my outfit. I definitely wanna wear these other pants because they're so freaking comfortable and very stretchy. I was gonna do this black top, but I just think it's a little too casual. I want something warmer and cozy. I was trying to find a jacket to go with it, but it wasn't really the vibe. So anyways, we're gonna figure out the outfits and then I'll show you once the gals are all ready to roll. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> we just finished getting, <laughs> I cannot with this cat. Okay. We just finished going ready, change into our fits, and we're ready to go. Woo! Ready to beat the wind, baby! Beat the wind, I know. It's not blizzarding yet, it's coming later. Earmuffs are in. Well, has her earmuffs on and like, we aren't even outside. We're literally popping into a car. Well, I need, I need the mic. This is so soft, I can't get I know. There. The cat thinks I'm I it. Love it. I'm one of them. Ooh. All right. Ciao. We have my mom's infamous Aww. shrimp linguine with some pasta and then in the air fryer we're just air frying some salmon. We're gonna make like a salmon kale salad for the side. So good.